Welcome to Jack Watley Discus. I'm Gabe Posada. Today we're going to talk about the procedures we go through when there's an impending hurricane coming our way. Join us. Thank you for joining us. The way we treat a hurricane is basically the same way we treat a shipment. Um, during a shipment, we try to make sure that the fish don't eat prior to being shipped. Why? Because we don't want them defecating inside the bag, especially when there's no filtration system inside the bag. So basically, when a hurricane is announced that it's coming our way, we take precautions. And the precautions are three days prior to the hurricane supposedly touching down, which we all know we're going to lose power, we stop feeding altogether. Now, why do we stop feeding? Basically because what we end up doing is we end up doing massive water changes during that time. And so once you stop feeding your fish, they will excrete everything they have internally. They no longer need to digest anything, so they empty themselves out. On the first day, you'll notice that there's a lot of poop on the bottom of the tanks. We clean all that up and do a massive water change. Second day, same scenario. Third day, there's less because obviously they haven't eaten in three days. But by the time the hurricane gets here and the power goes out, all of a sudden now you've got crystal clean water. We try not to overcrowd the tank so we spread the fish out throughout the hatchery. But at the same token, if the power does go out, there's nothing they can do to basically create ammonia because there's no poop coming out of them. They're in crystal clean water and you know that's what's gonna save them. So we're lucky and fortunate if you want to look at it that way because obviously people who live in California and get hurricanes, uh, not hurricanes, but rather earthquakes, uh, they don't have the, the warning ahead of time. It just comes and you know, you're not ready for it. With us, we get three days prior or four days prior if we're lucky. Now, in doing all these preparations, we're trying to save as many fish as possible. Obviously, we have generators at the hatchery, but for most people at home who don't, this would be a very, very simple way of, you know, salvaging as many fish as possible, okay? Now, if you don't have a generator, now all of a sudden you've got nice clean water, the only thing you have to contend with is the lack of oxygen. But, I'm going to tell you something, if you guys have canister filters, you're going to need, after 24 hours, you're going to need to break down those canister filters immediately and rinse them out and clean them out because they're worthless anyway. And the last thing you want is the power coming back on and all that ammonia buildup from the, the, the good by beneficial bacteria dying and creating ammonia going back in your tank and suffocating the fish. So take that into consideration, okay? If you're out of power for 24 hours, break the canister filters down, clean them out, rinse them out, leave them out, okay? Don't even put them back together and put them back in the system. Once the power comes back on, and that's when you want to put them back on and obviously you want to continue doing your water changes. It's not going to be easy, it's a frustrating time, but it's the best advice that we can give you guys, okay? If you do have a generator, then God bless you and we hope that the hurricane doesn't affect you that badly. Uh, but if you don't, there's certain little tips and tricks that you can apply to sell it, save your fish. Uh, one of the ones that I normally did uh, back, um, I don't even remember, we've been in this hatchery for 22 years, I think we've experienced eight hurricanes, but at the beach where I live, my 125 was without power for two weeks. So the way that I kept it, I mean the city water never went out, so basically I did water changes, but at the same token, every 20 minutes, 30 minutes that I was at the house, I would literally come by, and I'll show you guys, with a simple cup, all right, a plastic cup, and basically all you need to do is siphon out some water, pour it back in, and I don't have to tell you that those bubbles are creating oxygen, okay? I mean, it's not easy, it's not simple, it's frustrating, but it will get oxygen in your tank. Another little dirty secret is you can actually use hydrogen peroxide. Now, what is hydrogen peroxide? It's water with one extra molecule. So what you do is you take the same cup, you fill it up halfway with water. You pour a little bit of the uh, hydrogen peroxide water in here, mix it up. Take your cup, pour it in, grab more water and mix it in so it's not a direct flow of hydrogen peroxide. 
start pouring, mix a little more, and so on and so forth. I'll be honest with you, you can probably get four hours of oxygen doing this little trick. You'll kill all your plants, but who cares about the plants? We want to keep the fish alive. The plants we can easily, easily replace, okay? So I'm hoping all these little tricks and gadgets help you guys out. Obviously, we do things here differently than we do at home, but uh, we wanted to show you these things, and we're going to show you how we keep the tanks because obviously we got caught with Dorian coming our way. So I wanted to make sure that you guys knew what we went through. And I know you guys like seeing this stuff. I mean, I don't like the hurricane coming my way and thank God it missed us completely. I feel sorry for the people in the Bahamas. My prayers go out to them. Uh, but nonetheless, this will be hurricane number nine since I've had the hatchery. So pretty much I've learned over the years what to do and what not to do in order not to lose fish, okay? I hope this information is helpful for you guys. I hope that it saves a lot of fish in the future, especially if you're in a hurricane area or in a typhoon on the other side of the world, which is what hurricanes are called. Again, I'm Gabe Posada. Thank you for joining me. I'm sorry I've been away. The hurricane kept me away. But we're here. We're on all the channels. Look us all up and please subscribe so you can get everything. Okay, guys? Thank you very much for being here with me.